On YouTube. Beautiful day. A little chilly. I'm here in uh, Greenfield, Indiana, here at the pilot exit 96. Got here last night. Took my break here. Took a shower. I'm good to go. Head into Fayetteville, Arkansas. I got about 602 miles to go. Inside the pilot, took my trash out at the fuel island. Pulled forward, went inside, got my Yoohoo, my drinks, sausage biscuit. Now it's time to get on the road again. Let's ride. Had a good boat today. All right. We got 602 miles to go for today. That's what we gotta do. What's up, YouTube? I'm here in uh, Effingham, Illinois. I just got fuel, went inside. Got me a nice cup of, you know, 
It's 40 degrees outside, you know, a little, little chilly, but it's going to warm up. Ain't nothing like a hot cup of chicken noodle soup. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I was uh, watching a YouTube video because I just, now I got the uh, Rand McNally Dash Cam 300. And it's been acted up on me. I like Ram McNally. Are they the best products? No. But I like them. They do what I needed to do. But I ordered the new dash cam, the dash cam 500. It's sitting at the house. So I'm going to do an unboxing, a review. I'm going to use it for about a week or two. And then I'm going to do my review on it. I'm going home at the end of this month, the 29th, and I'm going to build me uh, an arm that attaches to the front of my table that goes up and then over, so I can attach a camera that faces straight down. So, one, I don't have to hold a camera, and two, I can. It'll be above my head. I, it, my hands and arms moving around with the product open it won't interfere with it you'll get a bird's eye view of the box and, and all the products so anyway I'm gonna build that up that's simple um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a review on it but I was watching this one guy <coughs> it kept falling off his windshield and he would clean the suction cup with the alcohol pads and clean his windshield with alcohol pads. He'll put it back in the same spot. He'll tap on it and it'll fall down. He'll put it back in the same spot, tap on it and fall down. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, this guy's in... Well... I'm not going to say he's an idiot because I don't know his level of whatever. But what I do know is I have the same problem suction, using suction cups on my windshield if you use it in certain areas. Because the windshields are curved. They're only flat in certain areas, like in the middle. Or on the side of my windshield. If I put something directly in front of me, it falls down every time because of the curve. This dude kept putting it in the same spot. Falls down. Same spot. Falls. I'm thinking to myself, dude, put it in try a different spot. If that doesn't work, try a different one. If that doesn't work, try a different one. Till you find a spot that it, it suctions because if if an area is curved, these suction cup mounts are not gonna work. Common sense people. Which is not so common anymore. I have found that. Mm. That's, that's good. But I'm gonna finish my break, and then we're gonna get on down the road to Fayetteville, Arkansas, which is just right there with Rogers, Arkansas. You know, right in that area. It puts me in the meat patch for. Tyson chicken. So.
what's going on YouTube I'm here at my uh, delivery Saturday night it's about seven o'clock and they have a gate that I can't get into so I'm parked in their driveway in front of the gate pull it off to the side hopefully vehicle should be able to get through so hopefully and our sale says they're open tomorrow Sunday the 14th and I gotta be the window is from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. so we shall see but I have a feeling they're not gonna be open tomorrow I do. Oh well. If they're not, I'll just sit here. I'll order pizza or something for tomorrow. I got plenty of drinks. Just no food. That's life as a trucker. I know. It's all good though. Oh, I can't wait to get home. I ordered my new GoPro Hero 7 Black. And some accessories to go with it, like the mic adapter. I ordered the, uh, the Pro Nomad case. To wear the mic adapter slides into a little slot and then I can hook up external microphones to it and get better sound got that coming and some other things I ordered a new Rand McNally GPS the 740 I found a good deal on eBay couldn't pass it up I had to get it oh but anyway, I have for sale, and this is for all you Peterbilt 587 or 579 drivers or owners out there. I have a brand new, my man, well, I mean, it's new, brand new, it's never been used, but I bought it last year sitting on my house but it's the passenger side headlight assembly still got the plastic on it never been used um, I had a issue last year where my my passenger side headlight not working diagnosed it I was convinced that it was the actual wiring inside the headlight and it turned out being the wiring harness that goes across my grill, or the bottom of my grill, to the passenger headlight. One of the wires is broke. So, never used a headlight. I was going to black them out. I was going to buy the pat, uh, driver's side headlight and then take them apart, black it out, add some lights to it. But I already found some that are already pre-made. So, I'm selling this headlight for 400 bucks. So, if you need a headlight for your truck passenger side 587 or 579 I have one for sale for 400 bucks I paid 482 or 485 or something like that get in touch with me Facebook trucking with trucker Mike and uh, shoot me a message uh, $400 plus shipping um, I'll get your address and I'll figure out the exact amount that's going to cost me to ship it to you and that's what I'll charge you. I'm not going to make no money off the shipping. I'm, I don't want to make no money off shipping. So, I'll get some pictures up here in the next couple of vlogs. I've, I've asked my wife to take pictures of it. She hasn't, she hasn't done it yet. So, anyway, it's for sale. Let me know if you need one, if you need it. 400 bucks, brand spanking new. So, anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. If you liked the video, hit that like button. 
tap on that notification bell so you get notified if you haven't subscribe hit that subscribe and i'll see y'all